This is Plastic Adventures. Hey everybody, it is Steve with the PATC and I am joined by, as always, our co-host Doug. And if you're finding us right now, you're finding yourself joining in with us on an episode of The Sandbox, which is sort of our catch-all discussion segment that we like to do. Uh, actually have kind of a really interesting subject this time. Um, I suppose the best way to put it is, do you remember when? Do you remember when you were a kid? There was a new cartoon. There was a movie. There was a something that came out, and then there weren't any toys. It was probably about the most awful thing that you could think of if you were a kid who was into action figures, especially back in the 80s when Doug and I grew up. Yep. So uh, today we're going to be discussing... What toys should we have gotten? Why didn't we get them? So without further ado, I guess we'll just like dig into this thing and get rocking, man. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, some things out there, movies out there like that came out sh should have been a no brainer to have a toy line and then to just have nothing uh, for that thing that you really love to see in the theaters uh, and no present under the Christmas tree or no present for a birthday for one of those things you saw was kind of kind of disappointing, but. No. Yeah, or you're on the playground with your friends and you're pretending that you're these characters from this movie, but it, because your friends aren't pocket-sized and you can't dig holes in the <laughs> dirt and bury them, then what the hell fun was that? <laughs> so, uh, all right, yeah, let's let's start your list there, brother. What you got? All right, so I've, I've got a couple. Of, I've been thinking about this all day, about which ones I thought would be really good, and I think a good one to start off with would be the last starfighter oh my gosh i just wrote that down as like a last second thing no way really i was shaking while i was doing the intro uh, uh, so the last starfighter actually had in production they had some uh mock-ups of action figures that they were going to release as toys uh but then uh for one reason or another uh never went into production and we never got them so uh that was a great movie that was ripe for a toy line. Can you imagine having a Gunstar uh, vehicle with your Alex Rogan action figure sliding right into the cockpit of that thing? Like, that would have been amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have... I, I, who didn't want to reenact that, like, spinning Death Rose thing that it did? That was, oh, that was yeah. pretty cool. It was such a great movie from beginning to end. And all of the characters in there were, like, really, really well-developed, I think. Uh, yeah. Developed enough that when if you had an action figure of those, you knew what those characters were, how to play with them, how to recreate scenes or make your own. So I, I I just I feel like it was it was for whatever reason. Like I don't know if it was licensing, I don't know if it was manufacturing, I don't know what it was. I'd have to dig into it a little bit more. But uh, I feel like like everyone missed out because of whatever decision that was. Yeah, there was a really good, uh, like, Star Wars-y type of opportunity or Battlestar Galactica opportunity with that one. You had very, very distinctive characters. Mm -hmm. So you could have you could imagine seeing these little guys, whether they were, you know, G.I. Joe-style articulation or um, simple 5 POA stuff on, on cards. You know, at, at least two to three vehicles you could have gotten out of the line. Uh, totally. A play set, uh, probably 12 figures, something like that, a, a run. It's yeah. really surprising that we didn't get that. Well, and it, it wouldn't have needed, I, I think they were going to be comparable to Star Wars action figures, if I remember the size. But I think even if they would have went down a size, like to a two inch, like uh, Starcom or Wheeled Warriors. Oh, uh, Mask. Or Mask, then we could have got some pretty decent sized vehicles that probably wouldn't have cost a lot to create. But, you know, one for, for, well, like I said, one reason or another, we didn't get them. And you and I missed out on probably a really good action figure toy line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I can, my mom likes to tell this story every time there's a lot of people around. Uh, when I was a kid, I could start running down a hill and I would be four different characters from four different movies by the time <laughs> I got to the bottom. Right? <laughs> she She loves that story, you know. I'm Perseus. No, I'm He-Man. No, I'm the Lone Ranger. No, I'm Zorro now. Uh, I picture yeah, so, Steve doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> man, that, that last Starfighter, 
it was just one of those things where, uh, like, in the middle of watching it, you want to run outside and pretend that you're in the movie or you're one of the characters. So, and who didn't want that video game? Like, oh my gosh! Like, oh yeah, that, that like the 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 precursor to three dimensional games. When you see him playing that and moving the joysticks the way he was moving them, and the, you really wanted that game. Somebody recreated that game I saw on YouTube. They actually did go in and make it and create the cabinet. So there's a working version of this game out there some fan created. Yeah. But, you never know, man. You might start playing it and somebody might recruit you into the, into the to defend yeah. the frontier against Zor and the Kodan Armada. Yeah. Right on. All right, moving on. What do we got next? Well, okay, so a few of these you can make an argument for why we didn't get toys. Okay. But in the same sense, we still got toys from some other movies that were a little bit suspect to be putting out children's toys for. <laughs> okay. Looking at you like Robocop. Robocop, Terminator. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, I missed, when I was, I was born in 79, I was just in time for the Road Warrior. Mm -hmm. And I would have loved to see a line of vehicles from Mad Max, the Road Warrior. Oh, yeah. Uh, you could have had his car. You could have had a bunch of the different little buggies and motorcycles. You could have had part swapping, like like Wheeled Warriors. Oh, totally. Uh, that would have been cool. As one of the play features, you could have a big deluxe vehicle in that in the um, semi-truck with the oil tanker, you know, the, the oil trailer on the back right. of it. And, man, Mad Max was just badass the guy was just this i didn't quite understand the nuances of the anti-hero back then but i mean he is such a cool design all that black leather and oh the, totally cool the rubber shoulder pad and the the so double barrel sawed off shotgun you had the gyro captain you had that little feral kid with the boomerang and and the humongous i mean that was just so full of characters can you, can you just imagine though when the sequel of thunderdome came out like what the toys could have looked for that too and oh yeah 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 i mean you could have gotten like a classic max you could have gotten like max with the long hair uh you could have had like a, a thunderdome toy like set. <laughs> with rubber bands you can like, snap your little guys at each other <laughs> yeah and you could get you could get blaster and then you could get Master with a with a backpack like Yoda from Star Wars. <laughs> now, selfishly, I would have wanted that in like G.I. Joe style articulation, but for the time, I want to say Road Warrior was like 1982. We would have got five POA, which would have been fine. But who cares, man? I mean, yeah. that 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 is just like ripe with opportunity to to get those. And the movie, even though there were a few like objectionable parts to the movie, we got commando toys. Yeah, like, and they weren't even great toys. <laughs> no, they were awful. They were God awful God. toys. No, it, 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 so I mean, it's it's things like that where the characters are just so rich, and the the play sets and the vehicles could have been so really well made, even sim simply uh, simply made, right? Even just a simple design, like how some of the, the like the uh, uh, what were they the Ertl ones that came out with the Dukes of Hazard and. Those ones, I think, were those Mego or were those Ertl? Uh, I think Ertl, I'm pretty sure Ertl did a line called, like, Metal Men. Did they? It was, like, this post-apocalyptic thing that was trying to take, you know, kind of cash in on Mad Max a little bit. Um, but I but think we, even, even if we would have got those, though, that would have been more than what anybody would have wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, I man, the, just the opportunity to part swap on oh, those. Totally. Just like Wheeled Warriors, it... I really think it could have been a thing uh, yeah. based on play patterns of the day and how, you know, how kids played with their toys. It, I, I think it was a big missed opportunity. Totally. And 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 when we're talking about these things, as people know, we're not talking about these things from a collector's standpoint. We're talking about these things from, you know, six, seven-year-old Doug, six, seven-year-old Steve and how we would have wanted to play with them. We know that there's action figures out there now for for some of these things that you know, third-party companies or whoever have made these uh, ones from these old movies that never got action figures, we know they're out there, but they weren't there when we wanted them to be there. Exactly, we wanted to play with them. So yeah, I could go find one right now and put it on my shelf, but it really wouldn't mean much because it, it, I didn't get to play with it. So well, yeah, yeah, I mean, like a perfect example would be um, 
that person on Etsy that's doing the vintage style Battlestar Galactica figures so that you can finally get your Apollo. Yep. Um, he's got a whole line of them that are five POA that are unpainted. Well, sure. Now. Yeah, sure. Right. Well, I mean, what we about can do it now? 40 years ago when, when little Doug and Steve wanted to have these things to play with and we yep. would have just so covered them in dirt. Oh yeah, totally. They would have been. I would have had to buy three or four of them because I would have exploded one of them. I would have thrown one from the from the roof, or you know what I'm saying? Like, but toys back then were so inexpensive, and we didn't care about thirty years from now. Are we going to want to collect them? We just played with them, right? And so, uh, I think that's another reason why they're so collectible these days is because you and I were idiots and and shot them with BB guns. Uh, yeah, every, <laughs> everybody collects now, but back then, you know, stuff got trashed. But yeah, totally. Yeah. So yeah. You can have anything you want. You can have someone customize it. You can have someone three D print it. But back back then, boy, was, I was just I would have just loved some Mad Max figures. Oh, they would have gosh, been pretty yeah. freaking rad. Rolling those down a hill, racing each other, flipping them over. Oh man, I could just play. I would play with them right now. All right. So the next one I have on my list is a big one. Big one from my childhood. I loved this movie, and there was only, I only remember a board game. Like that was it. This is all we got from it. Brawl. Oh, fudge. That's that movie, another movie right for action figures. You had a band of characters, maybe 10, from from Colwyn on down to the little kid, uh, to the shapeshifter, to the magician, to the five or six guys that joined his band, to the beast, right? To the slayers, like they're like stormtroopers. Oh yeah. my gosh, I can just, the fire mares that you could have made to put these characters on like yeah. was, i think the possibilities were endless with this line and i think yeah. kenner would have been the perfect toy uh, company to pick them up nowhere to be seen no action figures for crawl yeah what 100 percent uh and for the for the same reasons as a few of these other ones the the characters were so different um it, it was like like sci-fi meets D D. it's the coolest thing in the world uh, you yeah, could have totally. had role play weapons like the glaive mm. that would have been really cool um you I mean, like can, a Nerf glaive, like if Nerf got in on it and made a Nerf glaive, you could throw. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, God. we'd all be throwing it at our sisters, but totally. <laughs> uh, you're chewing the foam off the end to to expose the plastic skeleton. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that was a terrific movie. And again, you're you're probably talking at least a couple waves of figures. Easy. You're talking a, a big play set with the castle, deluxe figures, uh, ride on vehicles. Um, yeah, that that should have that could have should have been a thing. Maybe it just wasn't box office enough. But well, I'm thinking maybe it was a it was one of those one and done movies. Like there was no sequel planned. There was no sequel to be seen. And so to come up with a toy line for a movie that by the end of summer people are going to move on to, maybe not the greatest idea to start ma you know manufacturing toys for. But darn, I mean the possibilities for those characters and those toys i think would have been really good and it could have lived on i think um it could have gotten because of the toys had become popular uh it could have gotten a cartoon series like maybe a cartoon sure. something they could have picked up they could have continued the story somehow or whatever but i i still think Kroll was just ripe for a, a, an action figure line yeah i i 100 agree with you i 100 yeah that's too bad. Got many more to go. What's next on your list? Well, here's one that you can say that kind of happened, but it it didn't mm -hmm. because you would have never known about it. Um, when I was a kid, I there was nothing I wanted to do more than be Conan the Destroyer. That's on my list. <laughs> yeah, I, a bit. So, so see, we got Conan from Rimco, but it was such a small line. It was like three Conan figures and a couple other characters, and it's on the shelf and off. Not even like during the times that these that this movie is out. Right. Um, I'm fairly certain that it's because it's just a cluster f of of rights issues with Conan. It's got to be. But I, I mean, there's there's another one. Um, a party full of unique characters, unique monsters, villains, play sets. Uh, and then you had Red Sonia that came after it. Yeah, which was so, a little... It, it was a acquired taste, Red Sonia. <laughs> but... 
it, it was every bit as campy as Conan the Destroyer. Just uh, yeah. it didn't have Conan by name. He was Calador because they they got it kind of again the rights issues. He, they right. had to change his his name in the movie, but uh, because of those two movies and then the proximity that they came out with each other, it, it really. I really think that we should have gotten something out of that. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, I, I can't. I, I would you. love to play with some Conan action figures alongside He Man. I think that would have been really cool. Yeah, I mean, you could have totally done them in master style. Um, even though Remco did that line, um, I don't remember when Advanced Dungeons and Dragons came out with the Battlematic action. But had they done the line something similar to that, uh, I would have been okay with that too. But, totally yeah i think they would have been good in that four maybe four inch line yeah four or five uh and, and for all the reasons of the other ones because it's just this isn't a thing where there's just like one character that you you know that, that, that you get from the movie like commando right what else did you get you got arnold did was there bad guys released from that line i think there was a soldier maybe but <laughs> maybe no, uh, I don't. I don't think there. I don't think half of the characters were released for that. That were even in the movie. I think it was there one. Were, of there were no movies. other movie characters. There was no yeah. Sully and Cook and um, Bennett. None of those guys. Yeah. Well, Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a fat Bennett. <laughs> Let us some steam, Bennett. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, uh, and and uh, like having Conan be able to hold his sword. Um, having a Conan being able to ride a horse. I know oh, yeah. we've got some now that are from, from NECA or whatever, and, and they look cool and things, and they're good for collectors, but you, you never would have gotten a chance to play with them in the dirt, you know? We have, yeah, I'm, we got those um, Super 7 oh, Conan. Maybe that's they're, what it was, Super like 7. The, they're the Masters of the Universe classic style. And something's not working right there for likeness rights with Arnold. Mm-hmm. Because they're just, they were almost good figures, but I would have rather had a NECA style figure. Uh, McFarland did some, uh, some movie maniacs, but those were just like very static figures. Uh, if McFarland got their hands on them now, they are arguably the best producer of collector figures on the market right now, close to NECA. Yeah, I, mean, I, um, I think, yeah. Um, well, I, I think uh, Masters of the Universe is probably the top, though. I, I still think their figures are are the top of the line. Um, uh, yeah, I, I oh yeah, they, they kind of dip in both worlds. They're they're juvenile enough that children can play with them, but they know people adults are buying them. Uh, I, I think they're great action. I mean, they're great action figures, the Masterverse ones. So it would have been, yeah. been great to have, you know, Conan maybe in that style. But yeah, who knows. I, I would have taken it, but I we got it. no Conan the Destroyer. Yeah, I had Conan the Barbarian, but Conan the Barbarian slash Destroyer, same thing. I would have taken any of them. All right, okay. so here's here's one on my list that um, I would have loved. So um, I started thinking down the line of of action figure lines that we did get, but maybe characters from that toy line that we didn't get. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever receive, remember seeing a Masters of the Universe Queen Marlena. Nope. Like, that would have been a great one to have with King Randor and Prince Adam and, you know, and Tila and, and Duncan slash Man at Arms. I think that would have been a, a, a perfect end to that set there. Never got one. And then yeah. I know we got some in the classics, but... And you can't tell me it's because girls weren't playing with, or, you know, it wasn't interesting and boys wouldn't buy it because She-Ra took off. Yeah, totally. Why couldn't you put Queen Marlena in the She-Ra line? Or, uh, uh, yeah, that would have been, you know, a good way to, to pick up the, the slack on that. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, if no. you're going to give us King Randor, but you're not going to give us Queen Marlena, that, that's a bad call. Yeah, I don't even know why they did King Randor, honestly. Yeah. Um, and they were, they were such, he's such a side character, but they did. And I mean, you know, I like the look of him. I really do. I think I would have liked having a Queen Marlena to go beside him. I think that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can say the same thing for why didn't we get an RC figure? RC Transformers. Oh, uh, well, we did eventually, but not back then, but not back then. Yeah. I don't know how they would have made an RC figure back then. But, uh, 
you know, it would have. It, it wouldn't have looked been, anything like the cartoon one, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, you know how Night Beat that figure. That's a that's a female character in Japan. Night oh. Beat is recolored. Okay. Uh, and you can kind of see a little bit of it in the mold where it could technically go either way, like gender wise, but. Okay. You know, no, no reason they couldn't have done an RC in some kind of a, a deal like that, other than gotcha. they're just scared little little boys didn't want to buy it. But yeah. um, now, if it was a headmaster with Daniel, I would have thrown up. But <laughs> or maybe they just didn't want a female character in a line called headmasters. <laughs> <laughs> Those episodes are in the back of the video store. Yeah. That's a different part of the store. <laughs> behind, behind the skeezy ass curtain. <laughs> oh man, direction our conversations go sometimes. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> um, so I, I got one that's a bit that's a bit selfish. What's that? Uh and I, I justify this by saying, you know, well, they did this other one. Mm -hmm. Well, they did this other one. Uh, I I want really really wanted predator figures that weren't oh, the alien yeah. and predator figures from like the nineties. Um, they they did come out with them in the nineties. They came along with that with, out with the aliens as well in the nineties, but that was after I started actually collecting. I, I remember the aliens figures being the first two I bought when I started working at KB Toy Store. But by that time, I was getting out of out of stuff. Yeah, I I never got a major Alan Dutch Schaefer figure. No, no. But if they would have come out with those in 87 when the movie came out, I would have been all over it. I, I think they could have. I don't think that it would have been as strong. You, you can't make quite as strong of an argument for the Predator as you could some of the other ones we discussed because the cast was relatively small. But, um, you know, know one off. Been a cool cast. That would have been a cool cast of characters to have action figures for. They could have rivaled G.I. Joe. For, yeah, probably for a little bit. Um. That one, that one's a little bit selfish, and I'm gonna double up on this because for the same reasons as Predator, the next one I had on the list is Escape from New York. Oh yeah, totally a Snake Plissken figure. Oh man, I loved Snake Plissken when I was a kid. I made that submachine gun out of Legos and pretended I was Snake Plissken. Oh man, he was like the coolest guy I'd ever seen that day in a movie. That day, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man he's he was pretty cool he was pretty cool yeah i mean i i do think there's playset potential and you know one or two wave potential out of that one but you know you, it it is not as strong of an argument as like the mad max and and um last starfighter i i don't think that it quite had that kind of juice what was the um, what was the guy's name was it the was it duke, the duke. The yeah, would we have gotten the uh, the uh, Cadillac with the chandelier on the huh. on the headlights? Maybe huh? we could have got the wrestling ring with the garbage cans and George the Animal Steel. <laughs> uh, we could have got Cabby, an Ernest Borgnine figure. Yeah, I would have I would have dug that Cadillac though. That would have been a fun one to have. Yeah, yeah, you could um, have the weirdo with the tall hair. <laughs> nobody would buy that that would warm the pegs that would be a peg warmer yeah yeah so yeah, yeah they're, they're, i don't think it's quite at those levels of the other ones that we've been talking about but those two movies uh and and you know when i was a kid and i saw uh uh temple of doom mm -hmm. i wanted to be indiana jones and by who then did? the figures just kind of like came and went so oh, that, man. That was... who, who didn't want to be indiana jones yeah um, yeah so Sorry to interrupt. Who, what else you got there? It sounded well, like so you had... but one of my next ones is going to be it's it's along the same lines as as Masters of the Universe. It's it's a toy line that we had still out there, uh, but it took forever to get an action figure of this one made. Uh, Tarkin from Star Wars. Oh, like the main bad guy from Star Wars didn't get any kind of initial release action figure at all. It took until Power of the Force two. To finally give us a Tarkin figure. And then years and years later, when we finally got the retro Star Wars, we finally got a Tarkin in the Kenner style. But like I said, we didn't have these as a kid. Where yeah. was Tarkin as a kid? Why didn't we get him? How weird is that? We got the Death Death Squad trooper guy or whatever in yeah. the first wave. Yep. 
we got that weird Imperial guy. We didn't get his boss. No, nope. we actually had nope. screen time. We had Darth Vader, which makes sense. But like, I'm thinking, like, did, would I have rather had a Tuscan Raider or would I have rather had Tarkin? I would have rather had Tarkin. Give me, give me Tarkin. Tuscan Raider can come in a later way. He seems a lot more essential to the plot. He does, doesn't he? Like, but I, I think, you know, not giving us Tarkin kind of paved the way in all of our kid, on all of our kid heads. For Darth Vader to be the biggest main baddie of, yeah, and I mean, Darth Vader as a design is very overwhelming compared yeah. to the rest of them. But so, like, if you really had to do it, it was just Darth Vader and some stormtroopers. But for crap's sake, man, we got the Imperial dignitary. I know. <laughs> we got guys that like didn't even make the cut. We got. What is it? We we got Amanamon, the guy with the big hands that looked like a slug. We didn't get Tarkin. Like Tarkin had actual talking lines and was a main character. <laughs> why yeah. did we get this character from the back of Jabba's armpit? Like I don't get why we got that. Yeah, he he ordered a planet destroyed full of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad enough for you, but no, we're gonna not. get the dignitaries, those pale guys that. Uh, need to need to hit the tanning bed. Need to get a little bit of vitamin C. Um, I mean, so like, yeah, can, can can you imagine like the actors' lounge, like Alec Guinness walking in and be like, you know, I have an action figure. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I play with myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you just see like Peter Cushing at the water at the water, like like, damn you, Alec Guinness. <laughs> Probably they were all hanging out. Be they like, probably didn't uh, even care about action figures. I know this we did. crappy movie that we're making. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's not releasing over in the UK because we'd be so embarrassed of it. And then it's like the biggest thing that ever hit the movies ever. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm making some B movie called Star Wars. It'll never go anywhere. <laughs> like, what do they do? They sit back and they see the box office for it, and they're just like, shit. <laughs> There goes my career. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to be Obi-Wan Kenobi again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all people are going to know me as now for the rest of my life. That's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> Tarkin. Tarkin was one of those. Uh, so, okay. So staying in that vein, I got one more. Um, so for G.I. Joe, of characters that should have been given a, an action figure, uh, we got Galobulus. We got Nemesis Enforcer. We've got Royal Guard. Why didn't we get Pythona? Yeah. Yeah, that one was kind of floating in the back of my brain. Uh, like, that is like, a I, I, like I said, we, I know we got him. We got her later on. I think she was a con exclusive in like some 2000. And I know a lot of people online have made 3D renderings of her and have released her then. But back then as a kid, why didn't we get Pythona? Pythona yeah, we never got, in, in we never that got an Um. So... It, it, at that point, right, we were we were at least we were running a little bit light on female bad guys. I think Zorana had already released. Um, so why not Pythona? Jinx yeah. released in that same wave that was kind of promoted in the movie. So yeah. it would have made sense to have some sort of counterpart for Jinx, especially in a lineup of toys where they were obviously not scared about female characters not selling right. because all their females were badass. Uh, it it is a little bit weird that we never got that, and, but we get somebody like Windmill or the you know these like dipstick characters that, yeah. that downtown crazy legs who are not very awesomely designed characters. Yeah, Pythona would have been a great character. Can you imagine if she had like a cloth cape and and like a cloth cape and hood and just her. That's like, that's all it would have taken. That's really all it would have taken. Yeah, I, I think like I said, missed opportunities. That one would that would have been a great three pack. You could have released like the Royal Guard on their own, uh, but I think the three pack of her Galobulus and Nemesis Enforcer should have been the one that we got. Yeah, yeah, I think Royal Guard should have been carded yeah. separately. Yep. Uh, then, if you wanted several of them, you could buy several of them. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. What very, very big missed opportunity there. And, and she uh, was a main character. She was absolutely a main character in the movie. So I don't know why they wouldn't have ever been thought about giving us an action figure yeah good design too like for for the time oh, yeah well very well designed for the movie so you're right they should have 
We should have gotten it. We never got a BET. No. Nope, that would have been a cool uh, vehicle too. It really yeah, I mean, what's what's wrong with that? Not enough like missiles mounted very close to where somebody sits in an open cockpit. I don't know what the well, deal I, is. I, I always said that that what GI Joe lacked, they lacked in support type vehicles. We got we have a lot of tanks, we have a lot of planes, we have a lot of attack type, you know, doom buggies and things like that. But we have very few support type vehicles. We have the bomb loader, we have the ordnance disposal. Uh, you know, we got the the bivouac, but when you start thinking about support type playsets, GI Joe had way more attack type vehicles than they did support, and I think we a BET would have been a perfect one to just well, especially just with the movie the lines for the movie. Yeah, I mean, when that movie came out, I had already phased in and out of GI Joe, mm -hmm. and that as a kid seeing that that brought me right back in. I just oh. could not wait to see more Sergeant Slaughter in season two, and and to go, yep. you know, to uh, to see what we had in store, I, you know, it's kind of sad to see that Duke wasn't featured much, but he's an old toy, so who cares? Right, right. Um, they didn't really feature Falcon at all either. That I know. <laughs> could have been a he's a cool design, but anyhow, we we yeah. did get his figure. But you're right, no Python and no BET. Yeah, those would have been just so such a great addition to the GI Joe toy line. So yeah, I've, my, I've got I've got one more on my list. How many do you got? I got a few, but we can run through them pretty quickly. Uh, some of them are just like little things that I understand why we didn't. But let's uh, let's. You want me to go? So I, I can share mine, and then we'll, we'll use yours to close out. So sure. uh, mine is is I know what like we never would have gotten toys of these. No matter even if they wanted to make them, they would have been like, no, nope, sorry, we can't have those. But uh, can you imagine if we had got? Like, Lethal Weapon was one of my favorite movies growing up. I loved Lethal Weapon. Loved Martin Riggs. Loved Murtaugh. And I would have just been jazzed to be able to have action figures of those. Like, and, <laughs> like, come out with a Martin Riggs with his with his black truck. And come out with Murtaugh with his wife station. <laughs> like, that would have been, oh, my God. I would have loved it. Oh, And then all the bad guys that came along with the Lethal Weapon. I, I, like I said, it, it's it's not it's it's one of those those purely fantasy type toy lines that only I think only me would have benefited from having an action. Yeah, character. I'll tell you in the same vein, <laughs> who wouldn't have wanted a John McClane from Die Hard? Seriously, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like when we were kids, when we were kids, it would have been. I would have cool. loved it. I would have loved it. Yeah, it yeah, just, Hans just that I can the... drop from my roof. Yeah, a bunch of kids. <laughs> Out on the playground saying yippee ki yay mf -er. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Yeah. That's probably why we didn't get them. Okay, but still, you know, I, I still wanted them. I still do to this day. <laughs> uh, I think it would be cool to see them released. I mean, do, would you want them like vintage style, like Super 7, or did you, would you want them in um, like McFarlane style? Uh, I would take either. Either one. Just... I don't care. I'd, I'd buy either one of them. I don't think I don't think that movie gets enough love. <laughs> uh, well, I, I love it, but I, I see why we didn't get there. Same yeah, with I know why we didn't get it. That would have that's on my wish list. That's okay. All, all right. So, well, yeah. Here's one that was very ill timed with no marketing. Uh, there were toys, but they were well before it. Um, why no Chipmunk Adventure toys? Oh, yeah, chipmunks. Like, chipmunks are totally marketable, man. Hot air balloons, full of characters, play sets. I, I mean, it could have been a thing. That was a terrific it totally movie. Been a thing. Uh, the chipmunk figures had come and gone before, you know, b before that even became a thing. So they were already off the shelf. It was, you know, big missed opportunity. Imagine if they would have released them, like, with, uh, like, a flocking type of, like, they could, their head and their hands could have been flocked or something like that. I don't know. Like yeah, I mean, a... why not just release the figures they already did? Yeah, they were they were like you know like five or six points of articulation. No, I don't think they had waist articulation. It was neck and shoulders and and um, legs. But I mean, they could have done something and come out with a few new vehicles and play sets. It's one that's near and dear to my heart. I love that movie. Oh, I would I would I would have I would have loved those too. Did they come uh, out my... with Happy Meal one at least? I don't know if that one got the Happy Meal treatment or not. It might have. Don't recall. Hmm. Um, Galaxy Rangers. Yes, they had figures by Galoob. 
Yes, I have them. No, they didn't come out here. That's an amazing show. I love Galaxy Rangers. Well, we get figures for Bionic 6, but we don't get Galaxy Rangers. They were done. Really they were like ready. Bionic 6. They're, they're big, robust figures. They got cool quick draw action. There's there's cool oh, accessories. Should have been a thing. Should have been never a never came here. And I'm I'm a little jaded about it because how much I had to pay to get those. They're beautiful. Um, I secretly love the Bionic 6, though. And it's well, like it's a, oh, translucent parts, right? In back metal. Yeah. Uh you think Star Blazers would have would have benefited? Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, uh, it, was it an anime that everybody saw? Was it Yeah, it was a daily was it thing. everywhere? I but it know. might not have it might not have been everywhere, but you know, cool fighters and, and this battleship Yamoto. Uh you probably could have made something out of it, but I don't think it was ever gonna be as big as like a Robotech should have been. I know that they are very popular in model kits still. Like, I know that you can still buy all of that stuff as a model kit, and they just get eaten up. Like, they just, they they, they fly. Yeah, no so, figures, though. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I mean, I think that it probably could have. I think with the, the number of people that actually do like it, I think it probably could have had an action figure line. Uh, Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. There were already toys. There were already Bismarck toys in Japan that could have been brought over and imported to to make oh. that a thing. So it was just an import thing that at that point. Yeah, uh, Ramrod's a cool as hell robot. It was a couple of ships that like went together, Voltron style. Uh, and then you had support vehicles and horses and bunches of characters and plenty of bad guys. Yeah. Um, m missed opportunity, and I wish that I had that as a kid. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the last one that I think should have got figures and we finally did was willow no reason in the world that there wasn't better than little like you know uh european style static yeah. play figures that, we got that are the little not fun statue to play kind of action figures but nothing that you could really play with yeah they were they were crap they were like worse than plastic army guys to try and play with were. so uh that, that, that's I mean, one... it reminded me of like dollar store figures like that's the one you go when you're like I can't find anything else to buy, so I guess I'll buy this Willow statue for a dollar. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I want to say at the time, like most of the base ones retailed for a couple bucks. It was like two dollars or two forty nine. So even at that, on, on most average kids' allowances, what are you getting? One or two of those? Yeah, no thanks. And they're stuck in a static pose. You can't like really play with them. But if they were articulated, that would be different. Like an articulated man, Martigan. Oh, I would have been mm -hmm. all over that. All over that. Yeah, the Super 7 figures are terrific. Um, we've kind of reviewed those and showed those before. Um, I am now in my heart content that I got Willow figures because they were so just so good. And I think right that on. we probably are going to see another wave, but the the TV sh the Disney thing just tanked so hard because yeah, it was such it, a Yeah, it, it's not good. Turn. Maybe in the future when they decide to come back to it, but who knows. Right now it's probably it's it's a it's a franchise that people are staying away from. So yeah, I've done completely wrong. It just it, it was the the very wrong direction to go for that. But hey, you know what? We got what we got, and it was almost like everything was just whatever the first take and put it together and make the the show. Uh, I'm not a director, but I I like to think that I like to think that there could have been some improvements if somebody was sane trying to make that. <laughs> yeah, after with a competent writer. Yeah. yeah. Well, that I think that uh, that was a good list. I think we ran through some ones that I think everybody would agree with that uh, uh, they wish they would have had as kids. Um, from Star Wars down to uh, Kroll from Conan and and into uh, Lethal Weapon, apparently. So I think we yep. we hit we hit all the good ones. So with that said, uh, thanks for watching us. Uh, we're gonna get, go ahead and head out as we're coming down to our last minute. So please like and subscribe to our podcast and make a comment. Join Steve on Facebook and me on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the toy aisle.